kidding. So, you ready for a treat? The next comedian is Mr. Mike Cateo. I never know if they like me for me, or they're just in it for the parking spaces. Look <laughs> 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 at spaces. I get my most days around the holidays. Black Friday, I'm the sexiest guy in the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, at one time, I went to this pizzeria on a blind date. I showed up. And the person, I walked in and I met the person, and she had the same disability as me, but on the opposite side. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, you complete me. <laughs> oh, that, you know, this pandemic has caused dating to be hard for everyone. Pandemic was awful. Like, but, and it got me thinking, did you ever think, what if someone woke up from a 20-year coma during the pandemic, and they thought, let me go to the mall, because that's what happens. <laughs> and he went to the mall, and he was like, why are all these surgeons and bank robbers shopping in the same place? <laughs> I actually, I got married during the pandemic. Um, I, and I love being married, uh, mostly because now I have someone to cut my steak at fancy restaurants. <laughs> I love steak. Um, and me and my wife, we have cute little nicknames for each other. She calls me Blue Eyes, I call her Two Hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and the, the wedding was perfect. The wedding was perfect. Except for one thing that happened. You know when the DJ introduces you and brings you into the room, and he goes, for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Michael John Vier. You guys, that's not my last name. <laughs> <laughs> my last name is Cateo. Uh, that's her ex-husband's last name. <laughs> but, but it is great. He's a great guy. I love him. We get along. I don't mind taking his last name. <laughs> no, I took his wife. <laughs> he, uh, but no, he really is a great guy. He's actually... Uh, He's our roommate now. He lives in our basement. <laughs> I wish I was making this up. And as, as far as brother husbands go, top notch. <laughs> My wife doesn't like it. We get on her about stuff. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, we actually have a daughter. Um, she's not biologically mine, but I raised her with the other two people. And, and she's great. She's so funny. She's sarcastic. One day, she got a little upset, right? She got a little upset, and I'm trying to calm her down. I'm like, look, take a deep breath. Breathe. Aurelia, take a deep breath. I just did. I didn't see you. And without, without missing a beat, she goes, do you want me to come over and breathe in your ear? <laughs> I'm going to be sleeping with the fishes tonight. <laughs> uh, she's, she's awesome. I went home one day, and she was on a karaoke machine. Uh, but she wasn't singing. She was telling jokes. It was the cutest little thing. The only thing was, uh, her jokes are way funnier than mine. <laughs> uh, I try not to curse. I'm trying not to curse on stage. Um, because my mom, you know, she hated cursing. She really did. 
every time we would be watching TV and someone would curse, in a, in a light of disapproval, she'd go, she, she kissed in disapproval. And this one time, we were watching Andrew Dice play. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. It was like a sprinkler went off in the living room. <laughs> uh, my mom was one of my biggest fans. Uh, she was awesome. I loved her. And she, she, when I was living at home in my 20s pursuing stand-up as a career, I go, Mom, this is it. I'm happy. I'm following my dream. Remember, you always said, all I want for my children is to be happy. And without skipping a word or anything, she, she turns around and looks at me and goes, I never said that. <laughs> I said, get a job, move out of my basement. What are you talking about? All right, good night, everybody. Thank you. I don't know what to do anymore. All right, give it up for Mike Mateo. Yeah. Yeah.